I spent the morning in Academy looking at this new pellet grill. It features a stainless steel uh, burn pot. Uh, you'll notice that the auger is uh, angled upward and then the pellets fall down into the burn pot. Um, this is a little bit different than the normal style which is horizontal. Uh, the hopper looks like it will hold around 20 pounds. does have a grate uh, that can be easily removed with two screws. It looks like all the connections are pretty much standard in the industry of pellet grills. All the same colors used, uh, same connectors and everything. It does feature a, a latch to hold down the hopper lid in case you're in an area of high winds or something. Uh, the uh, heat deflector is also made out of stainless as well as the drip pan. Uh, the, uh, it is set off to the left hand side, uh, but the way that it's designed, um, I've, I've heard that the maintain the temperatures pretty well. Uh, the drip pan is, uh, is a pretty heavy duty stainless steel and it has a reinforcement in the center on the bottom side. As you can see from the way it fits in the grill, it covers almost all the way from the front to the back on the sides, which allows for more cooking area and less chance that your food dripping oils and stuff will get down in the burn pot. Uh, the controller I do not know much about. Uh, it is a digital controller, but I don't have much information on that. And the front end by the hopper, there is a, a plate across there where the drip pan sits. This also helps direct the heat back to the other side. As you can see, it's a fairly large grill. It looks to be 36, maybe 38 inches wide. There's three removable grates, and it does include a heavy-duty stainless steel temperature probe.